Hey everyone, welcome back into another video. Today, we're just going to be checking out in some experimental playing with uh, Vector. I know a lot of people dislike this character, and I kind of understand why. Some people say it doesn't feel like it's part of the game. That I can completely understand. I, I do feel, especially with his signatures, it just doesn't feel like a Euro Brawler character. But from what I have played of him, it not being much, but I think, I think he's alright. Um, but yeah, stuff like that. It doesn't really feel uh, realistic or uh, it matches Brahula. Yeah, from, from what I've played of him, I, I'm not too fussed on him. I think he's alright. I, do I don't think he does fit Brahula, but, uh, um, you know, he can be fun to play. Uh, uh, and I fucked that up. I'm terrible with bow. Bow's actually one of the weapons I want to get better at. Uh, like, because I want to play Koji, because Koji's just like, it's just an overall, like, a really decent character. But I don't know, I just suck. I guess that's, re I guess that's really it. What was that in dead? No, of course not. Uh, but yeah. Uh, um, I mean, I I'm pretty sure Vector isn't the, um, the most hated now that Great Sword's out, so I'm pretty sure any Great Sword Legend which c just comes out now is basically just a, a, a Hellspawn. I do understand everyone's hate for uh, Great, Great Sword. It's, bas it's basically like a combo weapon, and it's not like it's hard to do. You, it, it literally, the mechanics of the weapon is to get combos. And pro players have found out about using gravity cancels to reset the Eurom combo. And overall, it just makes it a lot, a lot more of a broken weapon. And I can understand why people are pissed off with it. But I feel people do go a bit above and beyond on their hatred for it. And they'll literally hate a person because they played that weapon. And so the people playing Greatsword, although I don't like you playing it, I can, I can uh, understand why you do. Like, you know, if it's, if it's broken, you just, like, if it's broken, it, like, I guess it's free low, really. A bit like when Lance was very strong. Like, if you was to play Lance, I guess it, that would be free, like, you would get free low. Because there are, when Lance was, like, in a really strong stage. But I guess that's not the case anymore, knowing that Lance has absolutely been destroyed. Also, I'm recording this on the same day of my uh, top three easiest legends to play in uh, uh, Rahula, or top three easiest play uh, legends to play for beginners, at least. Um, <clears throat> so currently, at the minute, uh, the EU ones is currently going on, and I've I put my predictions up on Twitter. I'm personally, and I believe all, I've got all three of mine right so far. I I guessed uh, uh, Sandstorm to win NA, Kyla Alice to win Australia, and my boy Tiger to win in uh, um, Southeast Asia. And so far, I've got all three right. Of course, some will be easier to guess than others because of how how um, competitive or how sort of like how, um, big the skill gap is within those regions. But for EU, I think. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Uh, I, against the uh, thing that we was just speaking about, the current issue with a uh, great sword against Jay Yun in a minute. But yeah, uh, talk about my predictions. I've got three out of three right so far. Can I get a clean sweep? I've gone for Akno to win EU. I think it's quite uh, obvious that he, despite he did lose her last month to Simple, I think he'll bounce back this month. And I believe Fiend will win South America. I've just always loved watching Fiend. I love his aggression. I think South America itself is just full of aggressive players, and I I don't blame them. I love watching South America. I think it's probably my my favorite region to watch because of how aggressive they are. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, Fiend. Of course, I'm gonna have a bit of a bias towards him. I was I I did. I was part of a, um, an organization with him, so I'm going to have my bias. But I just love the way which Fiend plays. I love his aggression, especially with Sword. I'd probably say Fiend was actually the reason which I started. Like, if you didn't know, I mostly main Sword. And Fiend is probably the reason why I started maining Sword, because I loved how well he played the weapon. But yeah. Uh, um, 
I'd say ones this week has been quite interesting. Uh, NA we saw quite a yeah, and we saw quite a, a different in our um say grand finals. We saw Sandstorm versus Stingray. I I think last month that was a, it was the uh, Cody Travis versus Stingray. But Cody Travis and uh, um Kozlix, I believe they both went out in the uh, um losers top eight, which honestly is quite surprising to me. I did see Kozlix's tweet about it a couple of days ago. About him saying he wasn't happy with Lance and uh, um, like he did, he, like if he wanted to play, he has to play in a really, a uh, um toxic like like play to win, sort of a uh, way instead of a uh, uh, play because you enjoy it. And I kind of feel bad because I've never had a problem with the guy. I've I, I've featured in one of his videos before, like actually quite recently. So I, I'm not going to be biased on that, but I I. I understand people don't like him because he uses Nair, but if it's part of the if it's part of the weapons mechanics, you can't blame him. You may not like his play style, but I've I've seen people literally like say death threats to him in the Twitch chat. And I think that's honestly disgusting that we do have people in the Brahulda community which are genuinely wanting or um that generally like send like say these death threats to cos Cos even even if it's not to his face, um, not to his face, but the fact that you're threatening someone because of how they play is absolutely disgusting. But um, but again, back onto the original topic. Yeah, North America's been quite interesting. We saw um, we saw quite a different her uh, um, like sort of uh, setup for the uh, top eight, I'd say, and so like where everyone was placed as well because normally. Normally, it's mostly a uh, sandstorm, Cody, Travis, or um, Kozilix, all in the uh, um, top three, and also Boomy making an appearance. But this was quite interesting. I don't know whether it was because of the Great Sword, but we saw quite a different uh, um, placement, like quite a different uh, um, performance by all of them. I I think it was Boomy. I can't remember who was facing, but I believe. Like Boomy got bodied, like he got absolutely like fl like destroyed. I can't remember who it was by, but I don't know whether like I don't know what reason that was for though. Um, but yeah, I'm not I'm not too sure if anything different happened in SEO. I think her, um, I don't think there was anything too noticeably different. I Tiger winning, uh, not not SA SEA, or uh, um, I think Tiger was already favorite. Again, I'm gonna have bias to Tiger. I think I mentioned this in the last video, like saying like my boy Tiger. But again, I was I was on in org with him, so there may be some plays I have a bit of a bias towards just because I've have I've had those connections with said players. But uh, yeah, uh, um, currently in EU, um, Daiko and uh, Adimestic are actually quite uh, are out quite early as well. Um, Adimestic, I believe he came out 49th. He's normally top 32 at least. And we saw him and Daiko actually go into the top 8 uh, for twos uh, last week. Or oh, well, the week, like last week of me recording this. But yeah, I think overall, I, I want to see an upset really. I want to see another upset. Um, either in EU or in SEA. I want to see something different. I want to see something new. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention uh, in the Australian region, Kyla, Kyla As Alice, or, um, he won grand finals. I don't think there was much uh, surprise there. But he, I believe he racked up the fastest ever uh, grand final win. Or the quickest ever best of five or a win, I believe it was. Like he, like he got the best, like the quickest ever best of five or a set win. And I believe it was like three minutes, which is quite decent. Normally matches like these last three minutes. Actually, was it three minutes? I'm not too sure. If I can find the image which I found before, then I'll show it on screen now. But if I can't, uh, um, if anyone has, if, if anyone does know it, leave it in the comments. That'd be much appreciated. But, um, yeah, I know we've completely gone off topic of what the video is actually about. But, uh, um, yeah, Vector, I think he's an alright character. I think he's quite fun to play with sometimes. I know he's hated quite a bit and sort of like his signatures aren't really suitable to the game. 
that guy just uh, uh, SD just because I think. But I'm, I'll be honest, I'm surprised how uh, I haven't actually got any hate comments at all. Uh, but yeah, getting back onto what I was finding on about the predictions and everything, and I had the upsets in the esports for this week as well. You know what I'd like to see? I'd love to see uh, um, an upset in SA. Despite I want, I want Fiend to win because of bias, and I just generally like him as a player, and also as a person, of course. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing an upset. I wouldn't mind seeing a, a DB, a legit, a Power Ranger, or a Lopez. I any of them really. Uh, um, or maybe see someone from a um, who's normally like a top uh, thirty-two, top sixteen finish coming like come in the top eight. I know we've seen a um. Nuez and uh, um, his teammate, I, I can't remember his name, I, I, I sound really bad for it, but um, I, can't re I can't remember his name, but they've been getting into top five recently in SA, and I, 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 I've had my interactions with Nuez, and I, he's, he's a really sound player, and I guess that's the end of that game. But yeah, I think, just to wrap this off, I'd like to see a... I'd love to see an upset in SA, like say, like a, see, like an underdog go really far. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. Let me know what you want me to speak about within the next video. Thank you so much for watching this. Vector is good. Uh, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll catch you later. Peace out.